You didn't intend to trap a skunk, but now you got one. So what do you do? A very common call that our dispatcher receives in the morning is someone who's trying to catch an animal of some sort in a live trap, but caught a skunk instead, and now they don't know what to do. If you choose to set a trap to catch a wild animal that's destroying your property, you have that right under Ontario law. But with rights come responsibilities. You can't take the animal 50 miles away and then dump it. It has to be released in the same general area. General guideline is no more than one kilometer away from where you trap the animal. Also, once the animal's in the trap, anything that happens to it is your responsibility. Any kind of harm that comes to the animal while it's in your custody could result in potential animal cruelty charges. So if you're going to use a live trap, make sure it's going to be protected from the sun and the rain at all times during the day and be sure to check the trap regularly best guideline is at least twice a day so that's how to trap legally let's consider whether or not you actually should bother the Toronto Wildlife Center has a really good article on why it may not be a best idea to trap and how it can sometimes actually be harmful to wildlife I'll post a link to the article in the description below but I'll summarize the key points here it removes an animal from familiar territory often resulting in an inability to find enough food before the winter comes it potentially separates a mother from her young. It could transmit disease into new areas where it didn't exist before. The Wildlife Center makes the point that there are no empty spaces in nature. And this really drives home the futility of trapping and releasing. Wildlife is everywhere, and the further we drive our cities into their habitat, the more of it we're going to see. If you live in a rural area and set a trap to try and solve a raccoon problem, that's kind of like standing in the middle of a lake, complaining it's too wet, and grabbing a roll of paper towels. The Wildlife Center article is really good, and it's not very long. I strongly recommend reading it. So back to the skunk in the trap. If you set a trap, you're responsible for whatever you catch. Do not expect animal control to respond. A lot of people are more than happy to accept our advice, but some people get really bent out of shape when we tell them we're not responding to the wild skunk that they caught in a trap by mistake. They usually ramble something about tax dollars, but it's important to note that municipal animal control services are governed by a contract between your municipality and your animal control provider. In the case of our area, your animal control provider is your Humane Society. Different cities request and pay for different services. The main concern of cities is usually canine control and bylaw enforcement. So speaking for our territory, your tax dollars don't actually pay for anything related to wildlife at all. Which makes this free advice. And don't think you're going to get anywhere by saying, well, I'll just kill it. That's like calling the police and saying you can't pay a speeding ticket, so you're going to rob a gas station. The other day I walked into the office and dispatch was on the line with this exact type of person. So what you're saying to me is kill it. Absolutely not. No, I think that's what you don't. But no. anyway, I, I have a witness. That's not what I said. Thank you. Goodbye. And I was angry and pacing around for about 10 minutes after the call had ended, and I wasn't even talking to them. This happens entirely too often. If you're not prepared to release anything that you catch in your trap, simply don't set one at all. So how do you release a skunk that you accidentally caught in your trap without getting sprayed? Approach the trap from behind while holding a blanket up to protect yourself. Drape this blanket over the trap, leaving the door uncovered. While standing behind the trap, open the door. The skunk will run out and escape along the path of least resistance. And that's it. It's super easy. Hopefully this was helpful and we saved you a phone call. Be sure to share this video with someone you think might benefit from it, and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to stay updated as new content is posted. Remember, not everything ends up on Facebook. That's it for this edition of Night Call. We'll see you next time.